Okay, scrappers, should we uh, try to take apart these uh, transformers? These came out of some outdoor lighting. And uh, yeah, they look like uh, they might be fun to get apart. So we'll give it a try. Okay, scrappers, you can see there's there's welds on them. And uh, for some reason, these are really welded pretty darn good. So I'm thinking that uh, the best bet would be to use a grinder to, to hit the, uh, to cut the weld. Because if you just try to beat that weld with a hammer, you're gonna be there all day beating it because they got that sucker welded better than I, any of them I've ever seen. So we'll show you how to do that. All right. Let's take your grinder, turn her on, and we wanna we wanna try to grind where this line here is. doing a very good job of it. Well, Dennis, you didn't do a very good job of that, did you? God dang sparks on my bare arms were, were hot. They was hot. So now we can beat it with a hammer and see if she'll break loose for us. There she comes. Hope that's getting, hope you can see that. Okay, we got one more to get off of there. Well, that just bent there. And, you know, you can always use a BHF too, you know, because it, uh, I'm not using a real real heavy hammer so if you got a bigger heavier hammer it would probably work better but you can see it's it's coming there we go now how do we get that out we got to pound that out so we want to open the vise up to just let that copper fit through there and we'll catch the edges here of the steel on there and now we're gonna try to pound that out out of there They got them shellacked in there really good. They got them pound or shellacked in there good. What if I try to tighten her right in there? 
Is that gonna work for us? I don't think it's gonna. Cause this vise has got no grippies in it. That's what you get when you get something for free. Ugh. See if we can find a punch of some sort to, to punch it maybe. No one's told me what this is yet, so we're gonna see if it works as a punch. See, it's just moving. It's just moving in there. I'm gonna go back to this way. You can see all of the all of the shellac in there is what's holding it. I think we're getting some movage. It's moving on that side. She was moving there. Now we're moving there too. Yeah, she's tight. She's tight. She's a hell of a girl. She's tight. We had a better punch or a vise that had grippies in here. You know, there's no, it's just smooth flat. That should allow it to go down. Uh, I wish I had one of the mother punches that I got upstairs in the apartment. cooking with gas now we're cooking look at that instead of break that shellac loose so we got some number two copper here get some of this yucky stuff off here and there's a lot of plastic on it a lot of plastic go I would almost say that's I'd almost say that's clean enough for for the girls we go with oh that was loud on my ears Neighbors are going to love me pounding out here like this at 7.30 at night or whatever the heck time it is. Anyways, you get the gist. It's a pretty nice hunk of copper. Number two copper goes in the number two copper bucket. And yeah, you can go ahead and clean up as much as you want. So that's how they are. And then you wind up with this. Goes in your steel bucket. It's... Uh, 
they're definitely worth doing some of them can be tougher than others and uh yeah but you find them in light fixtures older light fixtures and highly suggest that you take them apart because generally they come apart easier than the one i just did if you're not too bored with me i'd suggest that you watch one of the videos that's on screen now and until the next video remember to be good